This is an example of performing a beep test using the Curve 3 treadmill program designer. This program is available with the software. Basically you go to program designer load and choose beep test. Make sure visual cues and sound cues are checked and click run program. This will give the opposite athlete instructions. Basically they want to stick as close as possible to the red line for the duration of the test. If they drop below a set distance that you can decide, probably around the 5 metres, you would then stop the test at that point. See the individual stages coming up. same as you would have in a normal beep test. And move into stage two with the beep. into stage three. We're just going to stop the trial here because it's going to be a very long trial show on a video but you would let them run until they fell a certain period distance behind the trial. As you can see here the end point test can be determined while the user we recommend stopping the program with the athlete falls five meters behind the target distance. This will be indicated by the numbers in the top left of the screen reading minus 5.0. Once you've stopped the program, we can go into the graphs and have a look at the data. So basically, we'll first show your velocity compared to the target. So the target is the speed they were supposed to be travelling. A green line is their velocity. You can zoom into any portion of the graph you'd like. And that will show you their velocity at that period. You can also show their horizontal force so you can zoom into that portion of the graph as well we'll show, let's show vertical force if they're wearing a heart rate monitor you can click on heart rate there wasn't one worn in this case but it will show up on the graph as well. Uh, you have a distance timeline. So have your acceleration. You can also click on the report button. Go to the reports and it will give you their average velocity, their peak velocity, their average power, the peak power, the average horizontal force and their peak horizontal force average vertical force and their peak vertical force. I'll also give you the time of each of those peaks. I'll also give you their split times for each of the 10 second intervals. And then if we go back to the graphs, if you wanted to look at one particular portion of the graph, let's say the second stage, we can zoom into that portion of the graph. If we hit report again, and go back to report 
I will now only be checking that period of the trial. So as you can see here in that period they covered 160.7 metres in a time of 64.045 seconds and their average velocity and peak velocity for the trial is shown there for that period of the graph. If we go back to the graphs we can zoom back out report again and that will change it for the over the whole trial. This also gives us our endpoint, so C is 133.0. If we go back to our program designer and look at our timings, we can see that, that would have been at 3.1, uh, 3.2. If we had stopped the trial earlier, say back at, say they failed at that point. See the endpoint was 119.388. Go back to the program 119 is a 2.8. And this is only a short beep test. If we go in and have a look at the complete multi-stage beep test, you'll see that it runs for a lot longer. We've only used the short version as a demonstration of the file complete beep test has the full stage up to 22.